What's up guys, Felix the Creator here. Let's recreate the stylish Super 8mm film look together in Adobe Premiere Pro. Nothing evokes the good old times feeling like the 8mm look, right? This might be the reason why the Super 8mm effect is so popular in these days. We have studied the 8mm cameras and films and until today we are totally in love and obsessed with the 8mm style. And before some haters write here in the comments that the only way to create the super 8mm look is to shoot on film, yeah, that's right. But the truth is that we as video creators often work on low budget projects. And in this case, we don't have the money for a super 8 camera, the film and a lab that processes and digitize the film material. But I will show you another way how you can easily recreate the Super 8mm effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, so in post-production. This technique works also in Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve or in every non-linear editing software on the market. So let's dive into the timeline together and let's recreate this nostalgic effect. And we are working here with some samples from our original Super 8mm pack that you can download at vamify.com or you can download these four files that you can see here in the project window in the description below. So make sure to smash the download button and get your freebie. Okay, after you've downloaded your free stuff, you have to import your files right here in the project window. And we are working here with these two clips. Okay, in the first step we want to use this one here, the Super 8 Kodak Vision 3 and here at the ending you can see which kind of film from Kodak it is. So in this case you will find a Kodak Vision 3 50D7203 film. Yeah, you have a lot of different variations to shoot on a Super 8mm camera. Okay, drag and drop the overlay above your footage here in the timeline. Select your overlay. Go here to the top to the effect controls and change the blend mode here to multiply. And as you can see you have created a super 8mm look fast. But for sure we want to create more details on this super 8mm look. So let's create a bit more contrast. Therefore go here to the curves in the Lumetri color section. And yeah. Make a little S-curve. So bring it to something like this here. Yeah, that's a classical small S-curve. Okay, awesome. Now drag and drop this overlay one video track above. Go back to your folder here and drag and drop the scratches under the first overlay. Select them. Here you can see these scratches. Select the scratches, go to the effect controls and in this case we have to change the blend mode to screen. Yeah, I really love these nostalgic scratches here on the film. Okay. Go back to your free files and you will find this transition effect here. And let's say we want to start with this transition right here at the beginning. So jump a few frames forward by clicking the right arrow on your keyboard. And let's say, yeah, we want that transition to this point here. Drag the clip here on the right side to change the length. Make it a bit bigger here for a better overview. Go to the effects and search here for a film dissolve. So let's use this one. Yeah, and with this one we have created a stylish intro and for sure you can use this transition here to jump to an next cut. Let's duplicate this one. To duplicate a clip hold the Alt key on your keyboard and drag this clip here wherever you want. Let's say we bring this here to the next cut. 
cool. And now comes the final touch. Jump back to your downloaded folder. And now use the real Super 8mm sound that we have recorded from our Super 8 cam. Drag and drop this file into the timeline. Yeah. Yeah, and as you can see, we have created a realistic Super 8mm look in post-production here in Adobe Premiere Pro. And for sure, if you buy the 8mm pack at Vamify.com, you have a lot of more different variations. And here is a quick preview. You can see, see it here. You have so much different sound variations. You have an ectochrome effect. In this case, you have much more of this uh, perforation here on the left side. Or you have here also really cool transition effects. You will also find some awesome graphic overlays right here. Oh yeah, I like this one here for some intros or something like that. Yeah, oh, nice. And as you can see, we have created a lot of overlays with uh, different endings here with different film styles. So here with a 50D look and here's the next one with a Vision 3 200T. These are all different designations here for the film, more of the transition styles. And in the newest version, you will also find here uh, a retro box and a separated uh, perforation here, different grains. Yeah. And as I promised at the beginning, make sure to click the link in the description below to download your free sample pack. And if you like this stuff and you want to step up the whole 8mm game in your edits, then support us and head over to our website to check out the whole pack. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this kind of tutorials, make sure to check out another video from me where I show you how you can recreate film grain in Adobe Premiere Pro only. So check this out, click on the next video, hear you soon, Felix the Creator.